Hello, first members, and welcome to the commentary for the 2020 season finale. Woo! Hulk versus Broly. <laughs> Those characters. Uh, as always, I'm Ben, voice of Wiz, that nerdy guy on the right. I'm joined by Chad, the voice of that guy on the left. Hey, Chad. Hey, how's it going? The boomstick. Good, good, good to hear your voice. As yeah, always. we we never hear it. No, no, no. <laughs> never hear your voice. Uh, not this way. We're always hearing your, your like crazy redneck version voice. Except for every commentary. But you know, whatever. It's fine. Exactly. Exactly. Off to a roaring start with this one, Ben. Uh, <laughs> and we got to get through the intro of the episode somehow. Uh, we're joined by two amazing people who I don't think have been on the commentary yet, but um, we're super integral to making this episode as awesome as it is. Uh, animation director Melanie Stern. Yeah. Hello. There she is. Yeah. I am here. <laughs> there, yep, yep, she's here. And then also uh, the guy who uh, was basically in charge of making everything explodey and flashy. It's Billy. Hey, everybody. <laughs> yep, it's me. You may also too. know him. You may also know him as the voice of a ringmaster. Indeed. But flashy DBX. boom boom is my technical job title. So yes, yeah, got to make sure that's in the credits. <laughs> uh, so. This episode, God, I, I feel like there's so much to talk about this episode, uh, and yet, like, I'm trying to remember everything, because I feel like we we finished writing it before 2020 even began. Oh, wow. I think so. <laughs> uh, when did animation start? Do you remember, Mel? Uh, it was in February. It was, yeah, yeah, it was definitely very early. Wow. Yep. <laughs> I didn't realize it was that long. It was before quarantine. We were all finished crazy. up. Yeah. Yeah. Well, because Mel's also like, a, a, and Billy are like big parts of like Ruby and, and, and other shows. Um, in fact, Melanie, like, in, in case somebody watching Death Battle doesn't know what you do, Billy's been on, you know, uh, uh, cast before and whatnot. But what else do you do in in, uh, in the Rooster Teeth? Oh yeah, so uh, I'm actually the lead animator for uh, Volume Eight of Ruby. So. I make the characters move and do the things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Crazy. So it's a pretty big deal, guys. <laughs> yeah, and uh, she had to, you know, kind of get onto Ruby at some point so she couldn't work on Hulk Broly the whole year. Yeah, and we also <laughs> had, uh, uh, was it four uh, Ruby animators working on this mm -hmm. also? Yeah, I, thought, I think it definitely showed, too. <laughs> I, I mean, when we get to that animation, holy, holy shit, I'm so... I've been so excited about this episode all year from from the first meeting we had going through some of the early animation. Just yeah, uh, and the whole and, and I mean, everything we talked about, so about this fight years ago when we were doing um, Hulk Doomsday because that was Hulk, one of the things yeah. that we debated about. Was because like Hulk Doomsday is requested a lot, and so was Hulk versus Broly. So I remember Hulk having the conversation. Hulk versus Broly mm -hmm. has been a request, a popular request since almost. Probably day one. Uh, it, it has been one of the most popular requests we've ever had for for the entirety of Death Battle's existence, and we're over ten years old now. So it's people have been wanting this for a while. Oh, um, pressure! And, <laughs> Big angry yeah, well, guys. So it better be awesome, <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, and and I remember Chad, you and I having conversations uh, years ago about like how this would necessarily go because I think I think. There have been multiple years where we've talked about doing this episode. It it almost happened like five years ago. It almost happened three years ago. Yeah, it's probably even before came that. And and either something would come up with um, uh, animation process. We weren't sure if we could you know do it justice. Uh, or uh, uh, something came up with uh, with the idea itself. So when we were originally going to do it, we were talking about like, well, how do we necessarily determine? the result because both of them have this you know little issue where they can potentially have infinite power mm, mm, yep. just by getting infinitely angry i'm so, not known for that getting angry right yeah. i mean it's not really a, that all that well known little known fact they get angry they get strong um but uh so that was like early early stuff early early research of, of, of the characters were like ah this one might be a little tricky to make so we switched hulk to Doomsday, or Hulk vs. Broly to Hulk vs. Doomsday. Which was still was hell. Like, yeah, that was sort of like early on, we were like, maybe we'll do Hulk vs. Doomsday instead, and then that, that's not that same year. I can't remember what year we did Hulk Doomsday, but it wasn't the same year we decided on that. Later on, we were like, oh, Hulk vs. Doomsday, oh right, because Batman v Superman came out, and Doomsday was suddenly back mm. in the public consciousness, so that became like the number one request. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, so we ended up doing that, learned a lot about Hulk in the process, and while we were doing that, we thought, okay, 
Or I remember thinking, like, okay, now that I get this character more, I can see how we can do Hulk versus Broly in the future. So we're definitely doing that. And now we're here! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Origin story of the episode. And I mean, this probably comes up a lot, but I think the delay actually helped both characters grow a whole bunch in terms of what they are represented in, in the media now. So yep. there's these whole new dimensions to them that didn't exist back in that fight. Dude, both of these characters have had some crazy changes since back then. Mm -hmm. uh, so we did Hulk versus Doomsday before the new Dragon Ball Super movie. Uh, Dragon Ball Super Broly, which is fantastic. We actually, <laughs> before we before we started animation, uh, uh, Mal, you, me, Austin, and, and all the animators just sat in a room and watched the movie. Yeah, it was great. Nice. <laughs> I want to do that more it's often. Always, it's always great when RT can pay you to watch a movie. <laughs> but, you know, it was we, for we research. had to like catch yeah, it's research. It's R and D. I I had to track it down on my own, but I, I definitely loved the fact that I got to watch it for work too. So yeah. <laughs> I mean, we, we really wanted to capture that feeling of that movie and, and like, those fights uh, in, in the way Broly moves and whatnot, right? Yep. Yeah, no, for sure. Because he does some crazy stuff, and we wanted to make also, like, direct references <laughs> that fans could, like, be like, oh, yeah, I know that. So it's good to watch. Yep. There, sure. there are very, very specific moves and whatnot mm -hmm. in Dragon Ball that Broly's got. Um, and some of them are, like, translated from, like, the early, early Broly movie, which you're seeing here. Um, uh, early Dragon Ball stuff. Uh, but also new stuff. Uh, and we wanted to capture all of that and make it as, as pretty and cool as possible. Hey, there, there's a boy. There's a Broly. Yeah. <laughs> hey, so, Mel, like, question. Uh, one yeah. of the things that we had heard from, like, you know, since it became, like, a part of Rooster Teeth and started working more with the animation department and letting, you know, you guys start to work on uh, this show was that it was a lot of fun because like Ruby has some like you guys can do some really incredibly cool things with fight scenes but it's also like it's a lot more like you have to follow rules right yeah, whereas yeah, like yeah. death battle is a lot more like yeah I mean like we need to hit these couple things like as long as we show that but like if you want to just do some cool shit go for it so I'd love to hear like your thought like your thoughts on working yeah, on death battle what's different yeah. oh yeah it's different between death battle and ruby no I mean it's super awesome because obviously ruby does have rules like each characters have like their semblance they can't like fly around uh, well I guess like two characters can but they they can't do all these crazy things so having a character that could just fly and do whatever and then the idea of a characters flying into space was kind of crazy um another thing that i appreciated i think the animators did too because it was different because a lot of ruby uh a lot of the uh you know we do a lot of like petite women fighting mm -hmm. and we never really get really big muscular men that's some big big boys right yeah. yeah so i think we had a lot of fun with that and just like showing weight and having them like crash into the ground and like making craters and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, I yeah, think it's a little different. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I I thought it was so much fun and I think all of the animators appreciated it also. What what is what is one thing that really stands out to you that's different animating like uh, somebody as big and broad as Hulk or Broly versus uh, one of the Ruby girls? So <laughs> it's kind of funny because like even though they're really heavy, uh, I mean you'll see at some point in the actual animation they are still really fast. <laughs> yeah. Um, so being able to convey that is pretty crazy, and they have a lot of punching and more brutal force, whereas like Ruby Girls, they have weapons, and it's <laughs> it's kind of like with Ruby, I feel like their fighting style is more of like a full-on dance, and then these guys are just like just brawling. Yeah, just right. brawling. Yeah. they're just going <laughs> for to it. Get those so, like meaty hits, right? Yeah. Yep, exactly. <laughs> like a like a like the difference between a ballet and a boxing match kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So I think that was probably just the biggest thing. It feels good to just do some punches. <laughs> There you I go. love it. <laughs> Am I remembering right? Yeah, uh, you animated uh, a sun nunchuck scene, right? No, that was actually Kim. Oh, it was Kim. That's right. It yeah, was Kim. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. I'll, I'll not go down. I'll, yeah, I'll not go down that because that I know how much of a nightmare from listening to Quatori and talk about it of it is to animate those nunchucks. Uh, so. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Weapons in general can be really tricky, especially Ruby stuff because they just have so many different layers. But that's why whenever you have like a punch, it's like okay. 
<laughs> this is pretty yeah. straightforward. Yeah. Or you know, you can shoot lasers. Just be like, great. Yeah. Well, that's his, his hands like, go out, and now it's off to VFX. Have fun. In, uh, yeah. in comparison, <laughs> so Mal, you you just deal with like. Yeah, uh, not not to make it like sound simple or anything like that, but you're dealing with two characters punching each other over and over, and as opposed to Ruby, where there's all these complicated weapons that move around and have multiple pieces and stuff. Um, in this case, the complicated stuff, I guess, moves over to Billy mm. and all the <laughs> post visual effects. Uh, there's a lot so of how going, about that, exploding things? But yeah, it's it's it's, and we're using Unreal for this one, so it's um kind of happening live we're kind of determining what things look like as it goes and like so the first thing I, I did when I came in aside from kind of just doing some of the lighting for the sets was I wanted to get his his aura because that's just flying all over the place the entire episode brawly uh, so I just I, I uh, did a bunch of time developing that while the team was kind of um, working on just lasers and glowing spheres and just stuff flying all over the place what did you do at work today? Mm, lasers and glowing spheres. <laughs> lasers uh, and glowing you know. spheres. Also space. And space. Yeah. <laughs> I, I made all of space. Made space. No biggie. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Well, at, at the transition point, just because of the way, way space was laid out, I was like, uh, I'll just do space. You guys take all this exploding ground stuff. I'll take the exploding space stuff. Thanks. I'll just do space. <laughs> and then I'll break it. Yeah. I was going to say, I think my favorite thing about the Viz Post reviews is we'd watch it and then Ben would just be like, can we just do more? <laughs> more explosion? And the response is just like, yeah, yeah, I don't see why not, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that was really all I wanted from this fight was two two big beefy boys who can make the biggest blasts you can, you can see. Two, okay, hold on. Two big beefy boys with the biggest blasts? That's, that's yep. there you go. That's, that's, the, that's the stuff right that's there. That's the title. Subcaption. Of this episode. Don't, don't yeah. take that out of context. Anymore, please. <laughs> yeah, change the metadata. Make sure that's just the description. <laughs> I got I to gotta take my hats off to uh, Christina because she was kind of managing this project at first as she was also doing the Red vs. Blue death battle and some early stuff for Zero, and it was that's just a crazy amount of things she was tackling all at once. Oh, yeah, Christina's awesome. She's yep, for sure. Yep. And then we had uh, yeah. Quentin and Autumn on the Vizpost team who were they, they were still kind of um, working out some of this complicated VFX stuff in Unreal, and I think they did a fantastic job. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. guys all killed it. Yep. Look, it looks amazing. As we we're literally like, I think, less than a minute away from it, uh, which I'm so excited because I don't know. If Let's, no, so Mel and I were talking about this before. We we haven't seen the fight like in its final form. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah, and it's it's been a while since you've seen anything, Mel, because like that was man, probably half a year ago. Yeah, when and the I, animation finished. I haven't really heard like finished audio or anything, so I'm like, I'm pumped. <laughs> 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 I shared the music with you, right? Yes, like, yes, yes, I, yes. I love <laughs> it's real the music good. With Aaron. So we based the music, the music off of uh, it was Aaron and the uh, their wolf guys. Uh, but we based the music off of um, Blizzard mm -hmm. uh, uh, music from the Broly movie. Well, it's um, a shame they they put it at the end during the credits, and it's such a good song. Yeah, it was like a promotional thing, Aww. like they made a music oh, video so promoting it, but it's dear. such a good song. Yeah, yeah. It's their a, next. Oh yeah, Ben described Broly as a Disney princess. That was a very important note. <laughs> <laughs> He's basically a Disney princess who turns real angry. <laughs> there you go. The, the, the deer got way. added. Yeah, and it's perfect I mean, for the holiday animals. We're the original gonna... script did have his uh, big green dog. I can't remember his name off the top of my head. Oh, oh yeah, um, we're like, that would have been fun. That's gonna be a lot to hard make. To do, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna be able to make that. Yeah. Like, it was either like. Dedicate a lot of time to that and like cut down the fight or or pull have deer go from Ruby. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> pull a deer. It was also in Genlock. Yeah, the deer yeah, the yes. been in a couple places. <laughs> oh, making the rounds. I was gonna say before I forget to, uh, I just wanted to uh, shout out the animators who actually worked on it, which mm. was uh, Megan, Vito, Will, and Andrea. Yeah, Great everyone job, did an amazing job. This was like constant action mm -hmm. and Ruby we're used to a lot of talking to so it was a lot of fun oh that looks, oh, that looks so good that was so perfectly Dragon Ball everything about that shot <laughs> oh I yes. did that <laughs> that was me <laughs> well, there you, go. you did it I did it you did the Dragon Ball thing <laughs> yeah 
Dude, Chad, get ready. This fight gets. If I remember amazing. right, Will Wall's the one who did our kind of like draw over for the aura outline there. I think he yeah. turned that around super quick. Yeah, I know the aura, like making the aura, especially like it's a 2D effect. Yes! And Sorry! Making it in 3D I'm just loving this. could get kind of frustrating sometimes, right? <laughs> I mean, we were still figuring it out as we were doing it because that's just the nature of death battles. You kind of got to go, go, go. Uh, and we had a good handle on it by the end, but uh, yeah, it's 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 an interesting experience, kind of doing effects on the fly. Yeah, because it's like new characters every you know every yep, couple yep, weeks, yep. so there's not a whole lot of, a lot of time to prep in that regard, as opposed to like a show where you know you're working with the same characters for 16 episodes or whatnot. Um, yeah, but like figuring out all these effects, um, make it green, make it glow. Yeah. It was a lot of yeah, a lot of flashing, a lot of green glows, and yes, like Mel said, a lot of our reviews are just like make it bigger, yep. and that's it. Like it looks awesome, bigger but and greener. Make and Broly as a, and and greener. Greener. Broly as a princess has multiple costume changes. So yeah, yes, yes, yes multiple models for him. <laughs> Got to get him in that pretty dress and that other pretty dress. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Oh Bam. <sighs> yeah, we needed a Hulk smash. Absolutely. Classic. And then this is the part. Go. Oh, it's so Where pretty. It <laughs> I, I love, love working with you guys to looks. develop just this kind of like color palette for for the different areas of space too. It was really fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks so good, man. The, and I love the little green. There's, there's an Easter egg in, in space also. also. Yeah, I was gonna say that. too. If you pay attention, like one like small detail that I really like is Hulk is not moving himself. Anytime he's moving, it's because he's being pushed by some force. <laughs> Whereas Broly can actually fly around. I love that. Yeah, that's really cool. And here the, we go. Uh, World Breaker Hulk as well. Um, yeah, Hulk just doesn't give a shit about space. <laughs> that's not word for word, but it's pretty close to like one of the comics with him. He can just adapt to anything. Yeah. He just doesn't like the vacuum of space, so he adapts to it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, and then the ending of this. Not so this space. also just... kind of borrows from uh, the Broly movie. Uh, mm -hmm. Billy, how was this to work with? This was super fun to figure out. Just like, let's move between universes and uh, between existence. <laughs> Breaking reality, yep. right? You know, that's not hard at all. Oh, it's so pretty and a weird I wish we could way. have spent more time there because you can actually see some distinct patterns flying around, but they're just, you know, blowing it up so fast. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, like, you know, slow it down a bit when you're watching it. Everybody needs to watch the fight at least twice to get, you know, yeah. everything Aww. from it. The all, deer's back. The all deer's that matters back. is the deer is alive. <laughs> well, there were two, but only one came back. No, so. don't say that. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, when they broke time, only one deer survived. Yeah, that's a true tragedy in the episode. <laughs> yeah, oh no, I'm sad. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, quick, how quick can I make an animation change? I'm going to animate yeah. the second deer coming up too. <laughs> yeah, when does this come out? In a couple days? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I got time. <laughs> Little did you know the other deer actually got power from Ultra Satan. And now it's super yeah. powerful. There you go. They came through the green door, and now they are. Yeah, now it gets to fight deer. Broly. <laughs> That's the sequel, Deer vs. Broly. I'm all for it. Can we make a, a, a Are we British saying the deer breathes in some of that Hulk dust and got... Beefy deer? <laughs> super Saiyan deer? <laughs> Okay, uh, we're, as, we're, as we're getting close to the end here, uh, is there anything else, uh, Mel or Billy, that you guys wanted to touch on uh, about the behind the scenes? Uh, I also wanted to shout out uh, Jen Tidwell, who helped produce this one and helped oh, me Jen's out. Great. Yeah, so she definitely helped a lot because, like, for we, well, us animators, or I haven't, but uh, haven't worked on Death Battle, so we had to learn a lot of new things, but it was super awesome. Yeah, uh, as as a, as a first time death battle animation director, like, is there anything that surprised you going into it that uh, that I don't know was was stood out to you? I the process. I really liked the collaboration and just being able to like come up with ideas together, mm -hmm. and it just seemed like a really it was just a fun chill time, and I think all the animators really enjoyed it also. Yeah, that's one thing. Ever since we started, you know, having Ben not be the only animator. <laughs> Uh, for Death Battle oh, a million God. years ago. <laughs> um, 
was just like that's been a big part of the show and what we think made it a success is letting the animators and the people who work in the show be able to contribute mm -hmm. their ideas and get yep. to do that that stuff and I think the show is much better for it so that something we tried to keep retaining after 10 years <laughs> that applies all the way down to the end I, I, I love the collaboration that you get with even the, just how things look uh, even on our Visbo side that's super rare to, to have so mm -hmm. it's much yeah, appreciated. It I think uh, awesome. I think in our, our first meeting, I made sure, I usually make sure to say this, but I, I think I made sure to say, like, this is what we have planned, but if you think of anything that's even cooler or more badass, <laughs> go for it. Yep. <laughs> I'm all for it. You did say that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I love I love being able to do that, and, and you can't do that with a lot of shows. Mm -hmm. You know, Ruby obviously can't because it's got to follow, you know, a story and, and very specific, you know, story beats. Mm -hmm. um, and that's not a problem. That's just how that kind of thing works. Yeah. But with Death Battle, we're so open-ended, uh, and, and the characters get to, you know, every episode is its own thing, yeah. so we can do whatever we want. A lot of ways. So I had uh, Mirtanaster so start, start shooting characters. lasers. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, like, Who told you? As long you? as we represent the characters, you know, correctly, of yeah. course. Um, and I, and I love that about this show so much. <laughs> it's one of the best things about it. All yeah. right. Well, thank you. So, oh wait, there's one. There's one super secret scene. Oh, that's right. Something big is happening with Death Battle because we're ten years old now. Dad. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Mind blown. <laughs> if you've been Let following us know what you Death think Battle about for that. at all. <laughs> if you give a shit. <laughs> um, long running joke is finally coming to coming to a head. Who knows what will happen next year. Uh, <laughs> uh, but we've got, we got plans. We got plans. <laughs> all right. Uh, Mel, Billy, thank you so much for joining us for, for this. Us. Like, this is... This is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank you. And this I always fun. love bringing people on who are like, uh, um, just, you know, joined into the show recently and, and, and or, or, you know, worked on it for the first time and kind of like seeing how they feel about it. Because mm -hmm. uh, it's always it's always fun to see how people like kind of mix in with the team. and Yeah, and they provide uh, great feedback, you know, other than, yeah. the other, no, you don't get Sam being like, ah, oh, you know, I write shit and do stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we can't have him on commentary. I'm only saying anymore. that because he's listening right now because he's producing. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Love you, Sam. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> all right, and thank you to you all, first members, for watching this. Happy uh, holidays. Thank you for supporting us. Indeed. Yes, absolutely. Happy uh, 2021, I guess. Yay, this comes out, God. I think, like right before New Year's. Mm -hmm. Let it be crazy. better than 2020. <laughs> Please. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you all. We'll see you next year. Take like, care, everybody. Bye. Thanks for watching. This commentary was originally released on RoosterSeek.com for first members in our disastrous year of 2020. But, as of 2021, we're bringing them to you on the Death Battle YouTube channel, so be sure to subscribe.